Sports are known to be chock full of emotion, but that took on a whole new meaning Tuesday at Cochrane Fountain City High School. News 19's Colton Emsweiler and Jarrett Netzer tell us how Parents Night was special for many reasons. At this time, I'd like to acknowledge the parents of the girls' basketball team for their support of their daughters and the basketball team. Please stand when your daughter's name is called. One by one, the Cochrane Fountain City girls' basketball team went to embrace their loved ones on Parents Night. But due to a long list of health issues, Anna Neck's father, Randy, hasn't been at any contest this year. But little did she know... That's it. We're in, the, we're in the juniors. The massive surprise... As soon as he says her name. ...that came strolling into the gym. Anna Neck, done with Randy Neck and Alicia and Andy Zeller. For the first time in many months, Randy left his hospital in Wabasha to see his daughter play for the Pirates. <laughs> oh, I love you so much, Randy. I worked so hard for this. I love you so much. Over 25 years of coaching at CFC, Randy suffered from problems such as diabetes, kidney failure, and needing his right leg amputated. He said it's hard not seeing his kids as often because of his treatments, but that wasn't going to stop him from being there. What's easy for me is to see Anna's positive attitude. She's always cheering. And then for me to be able to, to sit there and do my therapy and my reps get hard and I think of my kids and that's why I'm doing this. The mission, dubbed Operation Flea Flicker, was in the works for four months and keeping it under wraps was not an easy thing to do. It was tough. We, uh, you know, the only time we could talk about was when we were on the phone together, Randy and I, and so it was really, it was, t it was difficult because I want to tell everybody else about it. Hey, I want you guys to come. I want you guys to be part of this, but yet I had to be quiet or the word would have got out and Anna would have probably heard. So it was difficult, but we, we enjoyed it. I had no idea and I was very shocked. And I thought I was in a dream and I just hugged my mom and cried and I went down and hugged him and said hello. And once she checked into the game, a magical moment took place right in front of her dad. I think I probably might have jumped out of my chair, you know, and I could have, and I could end up on the floor. And to see that, to see Anna play and contribute, to a, to a state ranked team. Again, that just, I, all our ducks lined up perfectly and that was a big part of it. And I was like, put it up, put it up. I know there's defenders everywhere. And I just made the shot, made the bucket and hustled back on D. Only a handful of people knew of Randy's arrival, but once he got there, it was nothing but love for the man who dedicated his life to CFC athletics. <laughs> Yes. Oh my so God. It's I'm so, so good to see you here. Community's been great towards him. I don't know. He's done a lot for everyone, and everyone's just so tight here. It's one giant family. The community here, it's great. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. It meant a lot to me. Like, I knew this wasn't something that I was hoping for, but he had a game in support of my sister. And as Anna scored the final basket of the game with just six seconds left. It capped off a night no one in attendance will ever forget. Operation Flea Flicker was a success. I'm going to remember this game by having everyone by my side and cheering with me and my dad just saying, The best day of my they life so by you. far. So, that's off to everybody. We got it. I thank you. I thank you. All right, thanks, Colton. And the Pirates went on to beat Augusta last night. Anna scored her most points ever in a varsity game, all while her dad had a front row seat. Great story.